Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Wendy and today we are going to be making sweet and sour pepper relish. So I have taken one of my heads of cabbage out of the garden and as you can see it split down the middle so I wanted to get him pulled out and used right away. So we'll just use a chunk of this for that. I've picked a couple of green peppers and a couple of my huge banana peppers. So I will go over the ingredients as I chop them up with you and let's get started. For this recipe you are going to need four cups of finely chopped and seeded green bell peppers. You are going to need three cups of apples and two cups of chopped cabbage. And we're also going to need one cup of chopped up sweet banana peppers. Place all of your diced vegetables once you get them cut into a very large pot. Here is our four cups of finely diced green bell peppers. And we have one cup of banana peppers that are finely chopped. add two tablespoons of pickling salt and then get in with your hands and then just massage that in we're gonna cover this and let this sit for two hours rinse off your peppers, cabbage, and apples really well to get all of that salt off. What we need to do is make a brine. So get a relatively large, medium to large size stock pot. And to that we are going to be adding three cups of apple cider vinegar. Three cups of sugar. one teaspoon of mustard seed and at this point you can use red chili flakes if you want to or not it is optional so if you like it a little bit hotter you can add the chili flakes to it we're not going to we're going to leave that out so what you want to do is bring this up to a boil stirring it till the sugar dissolves see how you can still see the sugar in here you want all of that sugar to dissolve and it to be a clearer liquid. Once it reaches the boiling point, we're going to turn it down to a medium heat and then we're going to add all of our peppers and apples and cabbage into this. The heat is turned down to medium and we're just going to start slowly adding this in. Hopefully not making too big of a mess. No. And not starting a fire either. <laughs> Stir this in and set your timer for 10 minutes. You want to cook this down for 10 minutes. Fill your jars to a half inch of headspace. And I'm going to fill them with just the cooked ingredients here first and then I'll top it off with brine. Take your knife around the edge, get all of the air pockets out, and you're looking for a half an inch of headspace here. Process at a rolling boil for 10 minutes. Adjust for your altitude. We ended up with seven half pints of sweet and sour pepper relish. And it's a really easy process. It just has to sit in that salt for a couple hours. So a little time consuming, but 
They look delicious and it smells even better. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.